Tonight, it's Saturday night, and we're having a bit of fun with Core Pass. We decided to actually do this video quickly for you to just give you a brief update of what's happening with Core Pass. So, here I have an iPhone. Rastislav has an Android Samsung, and I'm gonna open up my Core Pass application. So, I'm gonna log in. Here you can see there are three accounts. Um, this is a fully decentralized, borderless, peer-to-peer -peer application where there is no servers or anything involved. So your data is actually securely stored on your device, which means you take control. So I'm gonna select one of the accounts. This is my account, I'm gonna use my face ID. I can also use a pin. And here you can actually see my entire profile. So here I have my full name. I have my core pass ID and here I have actually KYC'd my passport. So what we're going to do right now, you can actually see here firstly, you can see this is the profile, you've got your wallets, you've got request data, you've got uh, your contacts or friends and here are templates. But let's go here to request data. So I'm going to request information from Rastislav on a fully decentralized peer-to-peer -peer connection. So I'm going to request information. So here I have all the digital attributes which I can select from. So to just make this easy, I'm just going to select Rastislav's email address and he's already got the provide data. So I'm going to request the data and here you can see the request overview. And here is it. I'm going to request his verified email address and then of course it will give you the price that you will pay for the data. So I will say confirm, and here I can set up the time of how long Rastislav has to actually um, accept my request. Now, hopefully it's gonna do it before 20 minutes is over. So I'm gonna say accept, and there you can see actually the connecting to peer. Rastislav already has the request from me. So Rastislav's gonna say show more. And you can see he has 19 minutes, 48 seconds left. The requested information is his verified email address. And there is his email address. And because I didn't put in, or because we, we don't have the amount in of how much I'm going to pay him, we didn't put that in, but we're just going to say accept. So it now says data request is in progress. So I've already got here insufficient funds. So I need to top up my account. So I'm going to just quickly top up my account. Topping up my account and the top up has been successful and now what we're going to do is the transaction was successful so the request is in place okay data request in process outcoding data uh, request and i'm going to go back to the dashboard here and here you can actually see the outgoing data request is taking place so rastislav has now provided me the data that was the incoming request and he's provided me the data and I'm now receiving the data. Now, you've all seen this, but what you haven't seen yet is the website login. So first and foremost, let me tell you, we have implemented this into the Ping Exchange. We are working extremely hard to test this now so that we can make sure 100% everything is perfect when we launch. But what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna show you how the actual request works. So on my screen, you will see there is a QR code. We have actually our cool developer here, um, actually core developer, but uh, we call him cool developer because he is just really, really cool and amazing. But in any case, um, here you can actually see the QR code. Here you've got an address. This is actually the address from whether it's a centralized or decentralized environment. This actually is generated and there you have the core ID. The core ID is actually uh, utilized there. And then you have the peer ID, which is the randomly generated uh, key, which uh, is actually linked with the Edwards Curve ED448 and the blockchain itself. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm actually going to do a QR code scan. So there I'm scanning the QR code and it says here login or register. Now login or register is exactly what is happening right now. So this is the first request where I'm using my core pass ID to identify myself. So when I say continue, it's going to connect to the peer 
And you will see now, immediately, I've been logged in and there is the ID token which has actually been created. So you have the access token, the refresh token, the expires in, and you have the ID token itself. Now, what's gonna happen in the back end is the following is going to take place. I've identified myself with my CorePass ID on the platform that I'm logging in. So what's then going to happen is, is there's going to be a request which is submitted, which is a smart contract. So it's gonna check, okay, this ID is there. Then it's gonna check the fields, whether the fields are there. And I can then actually, if the fields are there in the blockchain, it's checking whether it's verified, then immediately the smart contract is executed and the data request will take place. So what's gonna take place here is a full passport uh, name. So the request has been sent and I'm now waiting for the request to come on my telephone. And this takes a minute or two for the request to actually, well, not a minute or two, but it takes like a few seconds for the request to come in. Um, so we're just waiting now, but what I can say to you, this is fully peer to peer, fully decentralized. Uh, whether you're using a centralized environment or not, it is, um, here you can actually see the request came in, incoming data request, show request. So it says requested information is my verified full name. You can customize the smart contract according to what you as um, a, a website or as a company requires. So I'm gonna say accept. And when I accept this, then it's gonna actually transmit this data. So we have one hour to accept it. Uh, incoming data request accepted. So there you can see, I'm now sending this information. This is what I've provided. And there you can see in the platform with my CorePass ID, the infos, the passport full name, which is Ocker Cornelius Loebscher, has been received by the website. And this can be fully integrated. We've got all APIs ready. We've got everything ready for everyone to implement it into their platform. And this is probably the fastest peer-to-peer -peer connection and decentralized connection you will see on the market. So we just wanted to share this with you to actually show you that we are moving so fast forward. Everything is getting ready. Everything is, is going to be deployed and it's gonna happen soon. We are getting ready to press that button. So hope you enjoyed it, stay tuned, and we'll see you soon.